fish this tree on this main lake. It's a little windy, a little breezy out here. So I don't know how well that's gonna turn out for us, but we've got two baits. I know how I can fish down there. One's my slab spoon. No, there is this crappie jig, but it's a little bigger. So we're gonna try it. Give it a shot. While you guys are watching me fish for a second, I'm using a eight foot Mr. Crappie slab shaker with 10 pound braid, yellow braid, so I can see it pretty well. Uh, with a six pound leader tied to a 16th ounce jig head with a baby mm. shad blue ice bobby garland jig that is what i'm using today to catch all these crappie uh pretty much through the entire video got him got him he's not gonna be big at all but we got us a crappie no skunk bug today no skunk bug today Mouth so hard, I didn't even really get him. No, oh, just a wee baby. But we got him. Got him. Got a second one. This one's smaller than the first. <laughs> Way baby fish. Baby, baby, baby crappie. Sorry about the wind, guys. Don't get too many fishing days, and some days you gotta battle the wind, some days you gotta battle the cold. Shoot, not even close. Well, today the water was a balmy 38 degrees pretty tough fishing so what I end up having to do here is pretty much drop the crappie jig down to the depth of the crappie that are sitting in this tree and just dead stick the crappie jig not even moving it just keep it as still as possible and then eventually I'll feel either a little tick or I'll raise up on it and there'll be a little extra pressure and uh, right. I'll set the hook pretty simple winter crappie technique you can do this over brush piles or in trees or any of those things like that but when the water gets really cold you just have to move really really slow sometimes you just got to revert to to what you know how to do and i know how to on this lake i know how to catch crappie so boy i got him good right through the snow is easy buddy got him not very big still but hey I've caught two crappie. Three crappie, I'm sorry. I don't even know how to count. Three crappie. That jig is just about headed, so. We're probably gonna finish our day out crappie fishing since the bass fishing's not so good. And these crappie are biting super soft. I'm just going to pull these out because I might need them here in a minute. I'd rather put that eighth ounce if I ever break off this uh, sixteenth of an ounce isn't as potent to get down there. But for the crappie I'm catching, it might be the the right thing to be throwing down there because they're real tiny. This is a, a baby shad, blue ice. Hopefully, y'all can see. I know the sun's. Right in y'all's face. All right, we're gonna go see if we can find some bigger ones, or maybe just explore. I don't know. Come on now, uh, to get his nose undone. All right, guys, I want you all to see. 
the billion of crappie that I found. Look at how thick they are. And these are some pretty bigger, bigger ones than the ones I was catching earlier. So we're gonna see if we can catch us a few keepers. Hey guys, I just wanna pause it right here for a second and note that yes, I am using live scope to locate these fish, but you don't have to have live scope to find fish on your lake. I do have a video on how to find crappie using down imaging and side imaging. So make sure you check that out in the cards above. If you have live scope, man, it is definitely a useful tool. I've actually caught a few keepers already, but we're gonna see if we can catch us a few more. Oh, not a keeper, but still pretty decent. Oh, sorry. Sorry, big guy. Come here. Just a little one again. The water's so cold, it's 38 degrees. They like it dead. Dead. I think I... Yeah, he got his tail knocked off. They like dead stick in the water. Pretty simple technique. We just found some trees out here on the main lake that are covered with crappies. Most of them are real little. But uh, some of them are eating worthy. Not that I'm eating them, but it's nice to catch a few that you know that you can eat if you wanted to. Oh, dang, that's a big one. That's a keeper. Check this guy out. Probably pretty close to 10 inches, very slightly over. Yep, 10 and 3 quarter. Yeah, eat them. Kind of looks like there's a few bigger ones behind me here. Got him. That's a, that's a bigger fish. That's a white bass. Crappy fishing and catches a... A decent size white bass. Pretty good white bass. I'll check him out here. Let's see how long he is. Thirteen inches. Thirty inch white bass. Bye bye. All right, guys. That's gonna end our video today. Uh, bass fishing didn't turn out so good. Reverted to the old faithful crappie fishing. Caught a few keepers. I uh, probably caught five or six keepers in the last hour or so. So next time I come out here, I'm probably going to do a catch and cook. Catch a few crappie, keep them, and uh, enjoy their tasty little morsels. Thank you guys for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed it. And uh, just like always, until next time, get out there and go catch you some fish.